Howdy bubs and welcome back. I've got a surprise upload for y'all. Based off of some comments in the class about having an alternative way to express their health, I decided to quickly make a short video showing a different way to have a health bar. So, with our current game, whenever I run it, I have just the traditional default little health bar above my head and I can pick up new health as I run across. But some of y'all have stated that you would like a different kind of system, one in which you have health showing uh, similar to how Legend of Zelda has it with a little quarters of the heart being filled in. As you take damage, the health decreases until it is an empty heart. And you have a number of hearts to express your total health. So you first need to create a sprite similar to this that has a series of uh, stages, empty, one quarter, one half, three quarters, full. With that, we just need to create a new object. This new object is going to be O health, and we're going to have simply three events. A create event. And here we're going to have, this is simply going to address initialization. Let me increase the font size for y'all. And in here, uh, I'm going to set it up so that way it's as easy for y'all to quickly pick it up and modify it for your game if you want to use it. Heart sprite is simply equal to, and what is your heart sprite? In my case, I have heart health bar. Buffer, how many pixels do you want between each sprite uh, based off of their centers? I want, I think, 120 pixels. Number of hearts based off of how many hearts you'd like to have. I'm going to set it to 3 right now and leave that be. And then those are things you can play around with. Again, the sprite, pixels of heart from origin and the number of hearts. Then this is the part where those of you that have taken some of the advanced programming classes might have learned. I'm going to create an empty array. Now I'm going to have my health total is equal to zero. At the beginning we have no health. Then we're going to have a for loop for var i is equal to zero while well, i is less than the number of hearts, i++, plus plus, close parentheses, open curly brackets. Now inside of here is where we get to deal with the portion of setting all of the correct values for each heart. So the heart at index i is going to be equal to 4. It's full. Then our health total is going to be plus equals 4. It's going to increase by 4 because the health has 4 more quarters. And that's actually all we need in our create event. We will have another event, our step event. Every step it needs to figure out how much health. Set heart values. And so this is another simple for loop. For var i is equal to zero, while i is less than the number of hearts. i plus plus, close parentheses, open curly brackets. Now inside of here, if the hearts or health total is less than or equal to current value i starts at zero, I'm going to plus one to that. Then I'm going to multiply that by four. If our health is less than the correct intervals of 4, then we will have our hearts at that value simply be equal to the maximum between hearts health total minus i times 4, or 0. That way we can avoid any weird 
cases where we go below zero from subtracting too much health. So whatever our current value is, minus i times 4, it'll grab the larger of these two and fill that heart with the correct amount. Either one quarter, two quarters, three quarters, or four quarters having it full, or zero if this heart is supposed to be empty. Else, this is actually the part that addresses uh, a full heart at this index. Uh, it's just set equal to four. Uh, just one more part health total cannot go beyond its maximum if somehow we heal beyond that uh, due to some other effects. We can just make sure we don't accidentally go over that. And so we'll always accept the smaller of these two values. Either what the health would be based off the number of hearts times 4, or our current value, whichever is the smaller one, is our total. So if somehow our health gets too high from healing too much, it caps it out based off of the number of hearts we have. Now with this all set up, we just need our last portion, the draw GUI. It is important that you use a draw GUI as that ensures that it stays with the camera rather than based off of the location in the room. And so this will actually draw our hearts. 4 of our i is equal to 0, while i is less than the number of hearts, number of hearts i plus plus, close parentheses, open curly brackets. Then inside of here, we simply draw the sprite and we pass in our sprite for our heart. Uh, so heart sprite. The specific heart value, that tells us the frame, so that tells us either the empty one, one quarter, two quarters, three quarters, or four quarters full. I'm going to set this to be i plus one times whatever our buffer is. This will be buffer x, and I'm actually going to make another variable, buffer y, so that way it's more clear. Back in our create event, uh, this will be 80 pixels down. And there we go. Don't worry too much behind the math that's involved. What we're doing here is we have a, an array of all of our hearts based off of how many we have. In this case, just three. And then for each of those three hearts, I set them to full health and set my health total to be three times four. In our step event, I go through each of those three hearts and determine what health value they should be at based off of the total health we have. And so I slowly lose hearts, they'll decrease from the right until eventually it goes all the way to the left side of the three hearts. Then finally in draw GUI, I'll have it actually draw this in the position based off of buffer X and buffer Y. Again, buffer Y is just how far down from the top of the screen the heart's origin point will be, and buffer x is how far apart they are from each other plus from the left side of the screen. This is actually all that's needed for this, and of course making the heart sprite. Now we can go into the room and I can place O health into a new layer and rename this to health bar and place health in here. Now how do we relate this to our player? We just go into our player and before where we had the code that created the health bar, I'm going to leave this portion here as it doesn't impact any of our operations. All that I have to do is in my step event uh, update heart health bar and just correspond with that what our total health is. So with 
o health dot health total is equal to whatever value that we have. In this case, HP is the variable that I'm going to reference. Now, for the sake of this, I want it to match what we'll be having. So 12 and 12 here. Again, you'll play around with certain portions. You won't need everything necessarily. Uh, actually, I'm going to start with just one health just to demonstrate how that would look. And so here I am with one health. I'm going to pick this up. I have each uh, part filling back five. And so you saw that this filled me back up. Another five should bring me back down to there. And then this extra one will top me off. And there we go. I'm up to full. I can, of course, go into here and specify it only here and leave by one just so we can see it go through every single stage. I start at just one health and as I pick these up it slowly fills up my health one part quarter at a time. But there we go. Depending on how you play around with some things you can cycle back and forth between this uh, some of the variables you can pull out into your player. I just wanted to keep it standalone so that way you can tweak with it what you want. In my case, my maximum would just be the total number of quarters I expect to have, which is 12. Otherwise, that's actually all you need to do for this video. Again, this is purely a choice if you want to include it into your game as an alternative to having the health bar above it. You instead have a heart bar in the top left. Otherwise, that's all I've got. Everyone, have a good one. I just wanted to say thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. Shout out to my bad bubs, my top five, my day ones. Y'all have always been there for me. Next up, my baby bubs, the next five. I always love y'all's support. And finally, for everyone else, any little bit helps. Thank you to all my basic bubs for supporting me along my journey. If you want to continue receiving notifications, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell button.